friends, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Also, I have coffee in this mug. It is everything. I love these mugs. I'm pretty sure this was handmade or partially handmade, but I love it. All right, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today, and we got mostly Valentine's Day stuff. Not a lot. They're just coming out with some new stuff, but I wanted to share with you what I found that I haven't seen at my store before, or maybe I've seen a few things, but I still wanted to share them with you. <coughs> First off, <laughs> food. Um, I found this. Fresh success. It's a potato seasoning. I don't eat potatoes, but I can use this on different vegetables. I'm thinking cauliflower would be delicious in my oven. You just toss them in olive oil and then sprinkle this on and bake it. So I wanted to try it. They also had, um, it says, wake up your fresh fruits and vegetables. No artificial colors or preservatives, which is nice. They also had a stir fry variety, but it had a lot of sugar in it. So I didn't get that. I got that. I grabbed two more of these chicken of the sea tuna infusions in the smoked. These are delicious. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're on the go, grab a pack of mayonnaise, like those little travel packs. This you got a spork in here. Eat it plain. It's a little dry for me to swallow plain, but you can. I love it. Um, and you get 2.8 ounces. Total calories is 150. Carbs are only 2 grams for this whole container. So, And it's a good source of protein. Speaking of, I found the peanuts. They came back out with the planter, salt, and vinegar. I feel like they'll have all different flavors out soon. I tend to see these around, you know, after the first. Um, I love the salt and vinegar. And they also have one that's like a chipotle that's really good. Um, I'll bring these to work. Put them in my office drawer. And when I need a snack. Okay, so we'll show you the things I think they had out last year. I think these were out last year. Um, and I may have even bought them. I don't remember. But I really loved this pink color and the white. And I think these are fun for a tiered tray or just a sit out. Look how thick that is. Also, so this is a paper. You could peel it off. I would take a um, speckling knife and pop this off, this piece. You could sand this down to wood and then paint it or do whatever and then attach this piece back and that's fantastic i mean i just think that the base piece is wonderful for a dollar 25 and i like the shape of like the little barn which i think is good also if you're a cross stitcher we talk about this all the time this would be a good piece to display something on you can just paint i mean you can just paint over this and then attach it and i'm always looking for supplies to do that with I know they had these out last year, but I love them. They're just wooden skewers, or I think they're calling them wooden sticks. But they're so fun. If you have any littles, you could spear fruits, vegetables, rolled up meat, anything on them, and just make a fun little meal or snack for everybody. I mean, they're just adorable. And the little wooden hearts. You can also use them in crafting. I don't see why not. They're just like a skewer, you know, uh, be careful because my one here, my top came through the heart, but I just grabbed one because I think it's fun. So I grabbed that last year. I think that's it. I, maybe. I don't remember if they had these cups out last year for Valentine's Day. I, I'm obsessed with all the seasonal cups for my coffee bar. They had multiple prints, but I liked this one. And they come with the little sleeve with the XOXO and the lid. Oh, and they come and they're different. Oh, no, they're all red. And then the lid is black. I will tell you, be careful with the lids. Sometimes they break when you're putting them on. Um, and obviously, you're probably having hot liquids. But you get a set of five, and I just love them. I don't often use a lot of um, single-use plastics and stuff, or I try not to. Like, here, I'm going to show you. This one here is already cracked a little bit. Right here, they get these little micro cracks. So you wanna be careful because maybe it won't and maybe it will. If you get them on there real good, 
I think that one will be okay. And then you have a little cardboard sleeve. Okay, like I was saying, I try not to use a lot of single-use materials like this, but there are times if I'm on the go or out and about and I need a cup that I can, you know, dispose of, these are great to have. And plus, I like to just stick them by my coffee bar because they're cute. There's that. So I grabbed those. I was kind of sad they didn't have any for Christmas this year, which I found to be just odd. They also didn't have Christmas cards this year, which was weird. Anyway, um, stickers. I just got a set of alphabet stickers, but then I realized they had words on them. And so it really wasn't what I was looking for, but I'll figure out a use for these. I just wanted the plain letters. So I grabbed those, but then I found these for my planner. They're just Valentine's stickers. For me, I need the flat stickers. So the puffy ones and all the dimensional don't work in my planner. I use them for other things, but not my planner because they take up too much space. But these fun flat ones, even though this one has a little texture to it, it's fine. For about the week in February when I do my planner, I will, or for the month of February, I'll decorate with um, just some fun stickers. I have other ones, but I didn't know how many I had. So I grabbed two. I don't see a lot of options with the flat stickers. They had a lot of three-dimensional, the shaker stickers and the pop-outs and stuff. But like I said, that doesn't really work for what I need, but this does. Also, if you're mailing out Valentine's Day cards, you can use these to seal your envelopes. I love those for my planner because I'm a planner girl, you know. Um, I found these, which I love. It's just the chenille. Yarn, uh, chenille yarn. It's just super cute. This one, the red is a little anemic. I'm not going to lie. If you compare it to like the pink and the white. But I love this for DIYing, for crafting. Oh, they're just great. And honestly, it's like the perfect amount. You know, I don't need an entire skein of 100, 200 yards of... Um these colors. It's 73 yards, 50 grams. Perfect. Um, you can crochet with these. You can knit with this. You can use it to put around your cross stitching. You can use it to decorate. You can hang ornaments from it. You can wrap it around things. It's just fun. And for $1.25, we're on board with that, right? Um, also, I picked up this. And this is definitely for my cross stitch. If I can get this to come out. It's pearls. I grabbed two of them because I don't think you get a lot. They had all different, but I just wanted the generic plain. You get two yards, which is a lot, but not a lot at the same time. And they're, they're not loose on here. Let me see if I can get this open. It's very interesting, which I, I like it. If you're using it, okay, I'm breaking things at this point. Here we go. See, it's decorative, but you can, um, this is not two yards, just so you know. A yard is 36 inches. There is no way that is two yards. No way in heck that's two yards. Whatevs. It's just pretty and you got the pearls, but if you're attaching it, you can attach it here in the clear, just put a tack down or you can glue it. But I think this would lend itself better for um, sewing it down. I'm gonna put it back on this spool. Um, but I can tell you right now, if I had my ruler out, cause a, a yard is 36 inches. And they're saying this is two yards. I don't think so. I'll measure later and let you know. But I'm just putting it, spooling it back up. It's fine for what I need it for. Dollar tree. Okay. Then, if you have been in store or saw my other videos, they have a pink Christmas tree out this year, which I'm obsessed with. I'm not going to lie. And I found the ornaments. So they have them in pink, a light pink, a pearl pink, and a glitter pink. They have a pack that's 
bright red, matte red, and glitter red. And then they have this pinky raspberry color. So I think for the size of the tree, three packages should be sufficient. You get six, 18 ornaments. I think will be good for a little tiny tree. Um, so I grabbed the three packages here, but also you can use these for a million other things like a garland for your mantle or anything like that. I think that would be fantastic. But I looked online and you had to order, I think 48 packages of these and I don't need 48. I don't even need 24. I need three, but I love them. And they're kind of bold, bubbly hearts, which I love. So I grabbed three of those. Um, oh, this is super cute. It is a keychain with a pom pom and a chaps, a, a lip balm. And they had the lip balms in different colors. Let's see here. Mmm, it smells good. That feels nice. It's just, it's um lip gloss. I think that's fun. And then when the lip gloss is gone, you can either refill it or just take it off. And then you just have the pink pom-pom. And I thought, I thought that was adorable. Especially if you have younger girls, like some tweens or teenagers, this would be so fun to put in a little Valentine's gift. And I think they had it in red and this pink, I think. But I love it. I just think it's adorable. So I grabbed that. Then I know these are new to my store and they had three of them. One was a unicorn. They have the little bug that says um, loads of love in the red truck. And I love the little gingham heart up there. And then they have the mason jar that says be mine with the oh cat fur on it and the little heart. Now with this, you could 100% Take that off, sand it down, paint it, and make this for any season that you would like on this one. And the red truck as well. But I think this pink heart, I mean, yes, there's a heart up here. And you hold cards or pictures. But I think this lends itself to be more seasonal, like any season that you want. But I think these are adorable. I need a thumb. Um, and then they, like I said, they had a white unicorn, but I just like these two and I think they're adorable. Now hold on to your hat because we all know the Dollar Tree. When they find something that they, everybody likes, they just go overboard with it. And it's no different with the gnomes, but I thought this was freaking adorable. Obviously you can hang it. It has a hole up here. It is like a Christmas ornament. And look at the fur. I just think this is adorable and it sits so it can hang or sit. I might get a white pom pom and put up here or like a heart just to, or clip that off. But and I love the little pink nose. I only saw one of these. It, I think it was in the wrong spot and his little pink shoes. Obviously you can rip all this tinsel off and redo it if you want, if you want different seasons, this is a good base. So this tinsel will just come off. And then you're you're left with a gnome. You can peel off the beard and the hat, and then you can zhuzh it up any way you want for any season that you would like. I did see, um, and I want this is Valentine's, but I also saw them putting out St. Patrick's Day, and somebody said they saw Easter. I have not seen Easter, but I did see him, which, I mean, come on. Everybody needs that. And then they came back out with the gnomes. And I know there's a fourth one, but I didn't get the fourth one. They're tiny. Look at him. Holding his little, and it has a little wooden stick. Like just the detail. Little nose and his gingham hat. And his little feet. And he sits. And he has beads in the bottom. So he will sit. And then this one is holding a, a Valentine's Day card, like what? And again, red with the pink, he, she, I don't know. And then here's the pink version, but with the hearts, and does this one have hearts in the beard? No, hearts in the beard and holding his little heart on a stick with the gingham, but it's a little different gingham. Ah, oh, I love this one. This is my favorite. 
I love them all to be fair, but I love this one the most. I mean, I love it the most. And I think these are going to be perfect for a tiered tray because they are small enough to go in there, but they make a statement. So that, my friends, is everything I found so far Valentine related that was new to me, new to my store, or that I had an interest in. All right, guys, the boys are passed out. Look at them in front of that fire. Wellington back here is in his little bed, and Alex just likes to lay as close to the fire as he can get without frying himself. All right, guys, I hope you have a good one, and I will talk with you later. Bye!